Hey guys, how's it going? How's everyone doing today? Well, guess what? It's frickin' sunny in Northern California right now, and I'm gonna take advantage of it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my FXBR breakout out of the bag, and we're gonna go do some riding. I need to charge up the battery. You know, these bikes, they sit, especially people that live in cold weather during the winter time, snow, freezing, temperatures, you know, the, the batteries, they, they can only go so far. So they die and we're stuck trying to either jumpstart them or recharge them. But uh, today I am going to uh, get her legs stretched and it's a much needed uh, stretching. <laughs> We have not had um, very good weather here lately. It's been really super cold. Yesterday it was about 48 degrees with about 20 mile an hour winds and blowing, I would say salt fog is what I call it, but actually it's just a marine layer that comes in off the ocean because I live right next to the beach and uh, makes it really, really cold. So. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to get out and uh, enjoy the weather, so uh, I'm going to go and get this bike unhitched and uh, from the bag and get her fired up. Stay tuned.
and that's what it takes to get my motorcycle unbagged. It, I mean, it, it's kind of a chore, you know, to unbag the bike, pull it out, get all the gear on. I keep most of my gear in my trunk of my car since my car is like right in front of the motorcycle. So yeah, it's kind of a chore, kind of a hassle living in a condominium where you have such an open garage. But you know, hey, at least my bike is secured. At least, you know, I'm fortified here. I have a gate, I have actually two gates. That's kind of a hassle too sometimes. But anyways, yeah, let me get this thing fired up and uh, we're gonna go for a ride. Hey guys, how's it going? Wow, this video has just been a real big headache. Kind of like our weather. Our weather has really, really sucked. But hey, you know what? Today was awesome. The sun was shining. There was barely any clouds out. It was 57 degrees. I can't think of a better time than to hop on the Harley and go for a ride. It was kind of a short ride. Um, 30 miles there and back so uh, I enjoyed it a lot man I'm telling you this video has been a real fucking chore excuse my French to try to get everything in order uh, I discovered as I was pulling out and getting on the road th thinking that my uh, mic adapter for my GoPro session was plugged in properly and everything was dialed in uh, I thought that I had audio and I didn't discover um, this until after the ride and I started editing this video. Um, then all of a sudden I didn't, you know, I heard noises, but they were coming from the, the GoPros themselves. They weren't actually coming from the uh, external mic inside my helmet. So I was pretty pissed at myself for that. I don't know if you guys ever have these hassles who you know, vlogs and uh, has a channel, but uh, sometimes I just have that blonde moment where it it's just not dialed in for me. For some reason, I either plugged it in, didn't plug it in properly, or something malfunctioned. I do run a lot of tech while I'm doing these videos, and uh, sometimes I get too antsy to get out on the road. I want to get out on the road, and I want to enjoy that moment with my bike, and uh I must have not plugged it in properly. I tested it this morning and it worked fine. So anyways, so yeah, uh, new to YouTube. I'm new to vlogging. Haven't been doing it very long. I've only got, you know, a handful of videos on my channel right now. Um, when I bought my 2019 FXBR breakout, uh, I bought it in September of 2019, and I only got like two months worth of uh, riding on the bike, and um, I got to tell you, it, 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 I just loved it for those two months because our summers in Pacifica, California, which literally I sit right on the beach almost, uh, if you look on the video here, you'll look, you know, you, uh, over to the right side, up over that hill, that's the ocean. So I'm up on a mountain there. And so our summers actually start in the last week of August. And it runs all the way up to, I think, about the first week of December. And that's it. That's all we get. Uh, summertime for you guys usually starts right in the spring runoff. So March, April... Usually about April or May, it starts to warm up really nice in your areas. Uh, but for us in this particular area of California, it's still wintertime for us. So uh, rain starts coming in right around March and it just continues to, to pour until right around, I would say, July. 
and then that's it. Then we come off of that and we start warming up and then we get our summer. Like I say, it starts last week of August, runs, I think, the, about the first week, if I recall correctly, first week of December. And what did Mark Twain say? He said that the coldest winter he ever had was spending a summer in San Francisco. And I'm telling you, it couldn't be any more the truth. Uh, we have so much microclimates here, it's unbelievable. So I can literally go down the road. As you see right now, I'm headed towards uh, Highway 280. And about 10 minutes from my condominium, it can get about 70, 80 degrees. And you go about another 10 minutes back towards my condominium, you can literally feel the change in temperature and it drops in quite a few degrees. So we have a lot of micro temperatures here uh, in the Bay Area. But uh, yeah, it was really nice to get out and stretch the bike's legs, get my mind cleared of all the crap that's been going on from last year. This is actually my first ride uh, for 2021. Um, then we got into 2020, uh, and then we went into lockdown March 8th, and I didn't get a chance to pull the bike out and take a, a lengthy road trip with it. So it basically sat in my garage from December of 2019 all the way up to, I think I pulled it out to ride it to work um, right around June. And so then June and on through, I, I just rode back and forth to work. And that's 37 miles each way. I work in Sunnyvale. So um, about 74 miles round trip. Not enough to, to say, hey, I went on a road trip or, hey, I did a road tour or anything exciting to build content on that. So uh, really bummed out about that. I, I only put a thousand miles on this bike and my average... Uh, miles every year is about 10,000 miles. And after after usually about 10,000 miles and the winter hits, then I'm done, you know, and I'm cool with, you know, suffering it out for three to four months without, you know, riding. But uh, this poor bike has just been neglected and not getting on the road as much as it should have been uh, because of the circumstances uh, around what's been going on. But, uh, this this year, I don't care what the president says. I don't care what the governor says. I don't care what CDC says. I don't care what anybody says. I'm taking this bike on a road trip. I've already got it mapped out. I've already got it planned. And it's a done deal. This year is my year for me and my motorcycle. We're going to enjoy a lot of it. And I'm going to give my mustang some uh some much needed rest i'm not gonna even look at that car um this summer so anyways yeah um and so i that's that's pretty much it you know um my my most of my other bikes i've i've owned in the past i've i think one bike i put about seventy four thousand miles on it in three years and that was the most high, highly mileaged bike that I had owned uh, and that was a, a super sport that was that was a, a what we call a crotch rocket right so a uh, metrics bike um, back in the day when I could actually take the abuse uh, when you get to your 50s you kind of slow down a little bit and say, eh, my back, my neck, my shoulders, you know, start to ache after about, you know, a good 25, 30 minutes of riding, you're pretty much done. And that particular bike, I rode that thing all over the country. So uh, couldn't imagine doing it now at my age uh, on that particular bike, but it was fun just the same. I really, really fell in love with Harley for basic reasons, really. Um, but important reasons for myself. Uh, I wanted a bike that was basically uh, bare bones, brand new, one mile on the odometer. And I wanted to build on that platform. And I know a lot of the, the metric bikes that come out now, there's not much you could really do uh, to them to customize them. I mean, you can change the wheels, you can, you know, even change your brake calipers, you can, um, you know, do certain things to the bike, but 
you're 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 really limited on on your customization so with harley when you buy a brand spanking new harley fresh out of the box it's just a standard factory made motorcycle it doesn't come with a windshield doesn't come with a lot of the features that you you know you you want on a bike and that's what i love i love the uh, ability to build on a platform where i can make and create the bike that i want for myself and so with the fxbr breakout it's not a, it, it definitely was not a bike that you can go you know on long lengthy trips you you know so if i wanted to hop on it you know bone stock and let's say ride to even lake tahoe which is about a four hour drive for me from here um i couldn't really do it right not not without stopping at multiple gas stations and feeling the pain because the stock seat you know as comfortable as they try to make it coming out of the factory it's not actually all that comfortable uh, especially on a four-hour ride uh, so I had to really put in uh, the things that I wanted for this bike but kind of keep the sportiness to the bike as well so I know a lot of people like road glides and road kings and you know CVOs and you know the whole the whole touring thing uh, and, and those bikes are, are awesome. Don't get me wrong. I'm actually going to buy a, a Street King um, or Street Glide. I'm sorry. A Street Glide Special uh, in August. And that bike's going to be for one purpose only. And that's to take my, my long distance road trips. Road trips that will spin off two, three, four thousand miles. But not kill me in the interim of... Uh, you know, back readjustments and neck poppings and, and putting, you know, the uh, rotating cup back in my shoulder. Um, my breakout will do that, but it would take the trip a little bit longer. And sometimes I just don't have that kind of time in, in weeks uh, to spend on the road that maybe some of you can do. So um, what I did is I just, I customized the bike to basically... Uh, take on wind so I, I it took me a year to find the right wind fairing for it um, I finally found one for a, a 2014 breakout and it works and it looks great on the bike I didn't want something that looked bulky and looked ugly and it was just going to throw the whole looks of the bike off um, so I, I got really I got really lucky finding the one that I have and it works great um, I, I get no wind buffing. Um, I get no wind shearing. Uh, it's just a smooth, smooth ride. Um, so I got that and uh, I did a stage one. Uh, it took me about three tries with three different filter types uh, in kits to get it right. But uh, I went with the uh, Screaming Eagle Super Sucker. It's an open round air filter. And uh, and then I went with, instead of uh, deleting my warranty by changing pipes and all that stuff, I went ahead and did slip-ons and kept my cats in the, uh, the pipes. Uh, that way I, I didn't void my warranty. And uh, it, it sounds loud, but not too loud to the point that you would get irritated after about an hour's worth of ride. In fact, when I'm on the freeway, uh, I don't even hear the pipes, really. So um, that was a good addition. So the stage one was a plus. And I didn't want to go to Harley and spend, you know, a few hundred dollars to a thousand dollars having it dyno tuned and all that. So I bought the Screaming Eagle Pro Tuner. Um, not a big fan of that tuner. Uh, I could see why all the other comments were kind of iffy with it as well. Because the Vance and Hines FP3 tuner is amazing. Uh, it connects into your phone via Bluetooth. And you can tune your bike with your phone. And it's real simple, real easy uh, to use. Whereas the Pro Tuner with Scream and Eagle, <clears throat> it takes a little bit of uh, uh, practice to use it. Uh, the first couple of times I tried to tune it, I didn't do it right because I didn't really understand the format and software they were using for it. You have to use a laptop. Your laptop has to be connected to Wi-Fi so it can get the updates 
and you know basically after about the third time I was able to uh, record my current tune on the bike and compare it to what uh, Harley Davidson had on file and I was able to tune the bike myself so uh, I did get better gas mileage out of it I, I, I mean I've, I get great power whereas before in order for me to cruise in six gear uh, it would feel like the bike was still um, revving a little higher than I wanted it to after my tune um, I can probably hit this freeway at 65 and in fifth gear. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. It's really great. And my mileage has improved big time. Because with a 3.5 gallon tank, you're only going to get, at best, and this is where I'm at, I'm able to squeeze out 208 miles on a single 3.5 gallon fuel tank filled to the, the brim. So I was happy about the tune, so I got the tune done um, myself and uh, did some other little accessories here and there and got the, the monoshock adjusted just perfect on it for my, my weight and height. And it gives me a great smooth ride. I, I have no problems with this bike, but I want something that's going to carry me, say, if I wanted to take a trip from California to... Um, I don't know, let's just say go to Sturges, right? I want to be able to ride to Sturges in style and comfort and not get there and be uh, all broken up, <laughs> you know, from the ride. Uh, so that's that's in the plan for, for August. And um, I'm really looking forward to, to getting that bike and uh, using that for uh, my lengthy road trips. My breakout, I'm never getting rid of it. I'll I'll use it for just local stuff around, you know, town and going to work and things of that nature. But um, uh, the other thing I want to try to do is uh, get my my um, my uh, I I I have two drones. I want to get one drone uh, programmed properly to where I can start. Um, sending off the drone to follow me and uh, capture some really amazing uh, pictures along my journeys and uh, give my, my, my followers you know, a broader picture of what's going on instead of just looking at my GoPros through my windshield. <laughs> so um, I really want to broaden that up a little bit and make that happen. But, uh, but yeah, other than that, not much is going on. Um, you know, like I say, it's been a wild uh, 2020. Uh, one for the books, man. One for the books. I have not ever experienced, and I've lived through quite a few presidents, I've not experienced uh, the, the level of uh, chaos that's going on in our country today. And I got to tell you, if I didn't have this motorcycle when all this cracked off, I probably would have lost it. I mean, seriously. Um, California has been locked down tight and, and a lot of us, you know, we defy the orders. I'm, I'm, I'm not, uh, totally law abiding. I mean, I, I'll defile, uh, something in defiance. If I feel like my rights and my privileges are being stripped from me, I'll, uh, I'll defy that. I I'll tell them, I'm sorry, that, that shit ain't going to happen, man. I'm an American. I'll do what I want to do. And, uh, you know, that's it. And so uh, for me, um, it's been hard, though, because when a lot of places here are closed up and locked down and, you know, a lot of our national parks are locked up and locked down, you know, we can get out and go do something. But we really can't go places and really enjoy life like we did uh, prior to our lockdown. And uh, it sounds like what's going on in, you know, with Washington, you know, Biden against Trump, Trump against Biden. Then you had, uh, you know, uh, patriots storming the, uh, the Capitol. And, and, you know, it's just, it's gotten out of hand and it's gotten to a point now that I don't even want to know. I don't even want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to smell it. You know, I'm going to look after myself and my own interests, which is my family, my friends, and the things that I love that's in my world that I can control, that's what I'm going to concentrate on 
I'm not going to concentrate on all the bullshit, you know, because let's let's face it, the right doesn't have your best interest. The left doesn't have your best interest. The the radical liberal, if that's what you call them, they don't have your best interest. Nobody that's a politician and is in Washington D.C. has no good intentions or best interests for the people of the United States. It is for them and them only. And we just get the scraps that they allow us to have. And if you concentrate and focus on that one thing, I'm telling you, it, it, it's, it's going to mess with you. And you're going to find yourself just miserable all the time. You have to learn to cut off the news. For me, now... All I look up for the news is the weather. Is the weather going to allow me to go riding today? Or is it going to keep me crippled and, you know, down? So that's the only thing I concern myself now with, folks. And I think you should do the same. Um, you know, we, we, need to, we need to practice things that are meaningful in our lives and hold and retain those things. Anything outside of that, we just need to cut it because it's it's not going to be something that um, is going to help you grow and or help you in your 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 state of of sanity. It's just going to drive you crazy. So, anyways, but yeah, uh, this was a quick thirty minute ride, um, and did it in you know uh, thirty miles. Uh, 15 one way, 15 back home, but it was a great ride. It was, it just felt really great to get out and, uh, you know, get the bike rolling and get it lubricated, get the battery charged and smell fresh air and breathe fresh air and kind of look at my surrounding. Cause I actually do live in a, in, in an area that's pretty. It's, I don't live in downtown San Francisco. That's about 22 miles from where I live. And uh, I am so grateful that I, I'm in this little community that I am in where it, it, there's, there's, there's people in certain uh, extent of congestion, but it's manageable. So um, I, I'm, I, I just cannot imagine myself right now being in a, in a city like New York or even being in downtown San Francisco. That would drive me crazy. Um, being able to get out on the bike and, and, and just see the surrounding areas, the ocean, and get my lungs filled with fresh air, uh, to me, that's priceless. So um, anyways, guys, I, I don't know what was up with my GoPro mic. I don't think I quite had it plugged in right when I left the garage. You know, I was so uh, excited to get the bike and get on it and get out the door that uh, I probably forgot to plug the damn thing in but and I noticed that my uh my 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 GoPro session that you see next to my windshield I noticed that it I'm gonna have to do some adjustments on that because it, it makes it's making me look like I'm scrunched up and I'm not I'm actually my arms are out wide my legs are 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 out all the way and I'm just I'm cruising in comfort. I'm not scrunched up at all. So I don't know what's up with that cam, but I'm going to have to take a, take another look at it. Like I said, I'm I'm new at this stuff. So, um, you know, uh, trial and error with me. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to end this video for now. And, you know, I only have two subscribers. <laughs> That's it. Two subscribers. I don't know why you insist on not subscribing, but... Let me tell you something. I'm not looking for money from YouTube, and I'm not looking for donations. I do this because it's it's a new hobby of mine, and I, I, I like social media, I like social interaction, and, uh, you know, I maybe there's something in my videos that can help you later on, or maybe it's already helped you, but when you view my videos, if you like what you see and what you hear, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like what, I, what I'm saying, if you don't like what you're seeing on my video, then give me a thumbs down. I've got thick skin, my friends. I can take it. Uh, leave a comment and let me know where you're from, how often you ride, what you ride, and, um, you know, 
what what do you think about what's going on in our country and you know in our lives and what your goal is for 2021 we all have them and so uh, just leave me a comment and subscribe because I guarantee you as time goes on I'm going to get better with the YouTube I'm going to get better with my content and um, there's going to be certain things that I'll do that you'll love. So anyways, folks, thank you very much for joining me in this commentary. And uh, I hope you have a really, really blessed and great rest of your week. Have a good one, guys.